Hello, this tutorial is for those of you that have been working in Tinkercad and wanted to bring in a two-dimensional object or letter um, but make it three-dimensional in Tinkercad itself. To do this it's fairly simple. Um, in my instance I wanted to bring in the cursive letter L. So you just do an image search for the object that you're looking for. Obviously in this case I'm looking for the cursive L and you find the picture of your object or your letter that's in a standalone format where it's just that thing that you're looking for and you'll save this image to your file or to your computer uh, with whatever name you want in this case I'm gonna write cursive L letter and I'm gonna save it to my desktop and in this case it saves as a PNG file however to import things into Tinkercad you need to have either STL object or SVG files and I found a free online converter that converts to SVG there's a lot of these online but this is the first one I found and it worked just just fine for me so uh, this is the one I'll be using and what you'll do is you'll go to this site it's image.online-convert.com forward slash convert hyphen to hyphen SVG I'll put that link in the show notes but you're gonna go down to this green box down here and you're going to hit choose files and you're going to go to the file you just saved as a PNG for format you hit open and when you do that it drops in and you have the ability to start conversion since we're already on the part of the site that, they, site that converts to SVG we just hit start conversion and then it gives us the opportunity to download that file just below this ad here and in my browser it automatically uh, downloads to my computer so I can just show in folder and it's a cursive L letter SVG so it has the same uh, file name but a uh, new file format in the SVG which we see here that we are able to import in Tinkercad so again we go to Tinkercad and we go to the import button which is up here in the top right hit import we're gonna choose a file in this case we're going to choose the cursive L letter dot SVG that we just downloaded and converted hit open hit import and you'll see the two-dimensional L will drop in in three dimensions and the cool thing about this is you can still reshape this and reformat reformat it in the same way that you would one of the default shapes here in Tinkercad so it allows for a lot of flexibility with the object that you bring in Thanks a lot for watching. I really hope this helps and please consider subscribing.